Hey everyone, I just wanted to go ahead and say thank you guys so much for using the affiliate links to purchase your Amazon products as well as the products that I review and the fine fine products and um, using my code for glitch energy which saves you 20% off if you want good healthy clean energy then um, you should definitely check them out they help me out because I don't hit REM sleep I sleep with a sleep app machine I have sleep apnea and it's one of the few companies out there that I would say that gives me the energy to get me through my day and that's just being me 100% honest it might not work for you because I've tried several brands and some of them don't work a lot of the I would say more popular brands that you can just find like in a gas station or something. Um, they just don't work for me. And if they did, then the next day I would just feel groggy and just, ugh. and I never really liked that, but I had, I didn't have a choice. Um, and now that, you know what I'm saying? I'm working with them and they send out a free tub every now and then. Um, I'm glad to be able to, you know, find something that I don't really have to pay for. Um, because it's just, I need it pretty much almost every day. Um, just because, like I said, all the issues with my sleep and stuff and not having energy, I actually take uh, prescribed vitamin D um, supplements as well as other supplements um, as far as like vitamins and stuff goes. And, you know, I get my blood work done, all that stuff, just because apparently I'm just energy deficient. So, <laughs> you know, and then on top of that, having like a 17 month year old at home, I'm watching it for 12 hours. My wife watches it from 12 hours. I only sleep for like four or five hours, get up, do my content creation, and then go for 12 hours watching him. It's a lot to put on my shoulders. And like I said, having a company willing to, you know, sponsor somebody like me and y'all willing to use the code and check them out. Um, it's very helpful to me. And like I said, thank you so much. With that being said, because of the Amazon stuff, as well as y'all using the Amazon affiliate links for the fine, fine stuff. Fine, fine actually pays me on top of the commission that I get off of the Amazon affiliate links for the fine, fine products. So like I said, going forward, any video that I do for fine, fine is going to be just labeled as sponsored because now I'm receiving payments for those stuff. And I want to go ahead and say that because of all that stuff and you, you guys helped me out so much i've been able to secure the sony zv e10 mark ii and i'm paying a, like a little monthly uh payment on it but majority of the the money that i made or wherever from the amazon affiliate links and the fine fine stuff over time has been able to you know greatly go towards that which has been really awesome in my personal opinion because um, I'm able to, you know, secure that camera and going forward with the Mark II on the channel, hopefully, you know, it, uh, you know, pushes the channel even further out to people because I'm re reviewing the camera I'm talking about it from, you know, my point of view, um, as far as just the average consumer, just the everyday person who might pick it up and using it and everything. I'm super excited to, you know, start doing that as comes in at the end of the month. So yeah, expect a, a lot of videos on that, hopefully. Um, but yeah. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much and because of that we've actually hit 3,000 watch hours and which that means on youtube since i'm already over 500 subscribers now um obviously when i first started doing product reviews i was around 500 and now we're over a thousand and the requirement was to get over a thousand subscribers as well as uh 3, watch hours and i'm in the process of turning on uh, memberships and stuff like that. So I'm not sure if anybody's going to, you know, use those perks or anything like that. And I think some of them are for live streaming, but I live stream over on kick. I'll have the live stream link down in the description, but I'm not sure if I would live stream on YouTube because I usually do that for gaming and stuff. And I don't want to mess up the algorithm or wherever for YouTube, as far as doing, doing product reviews and content creation education. And then I stream video games. I'm not sure if that's going to mess anything up. So I probably won't do that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, but Again, I stream over on Kick, and uh, I have found success over there or wherever as far as, you know, every now and then um, I'd be blessed on that platform as far as Kick staff themselves putting me on the front page or, you know, getting like over 100 uh, viewer raid and stuff like that and just dancing over there and having fun and everything. So, again, it's just in my personal experience has been a better platform for me to stream and keeping that stuff separate. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just wanted to let you guys know that is that we're able to turn on uh, members. So hopefully sometime this week or even at this time next month, uh, memberships should be live. Hopefully if everything goes good, fingers crossed. Um, and I'm not sure if I can set tiers or anything like that, but there'll probably, if I can be like a $1 tier, $5 tier, 
and at most if i can send another tier probably like 10 but it's not going to be anything too crazy it's just that you know it's going to help me out a little bit as far as securing products for the company uh for the youtube channel to do reviews from companies because uh as of late i've been having too many i would say really discouraging interactions with companies uh, i never really talked about it in the youtube video but one company i had to threaten legal action against in order to get a refund on a product because i talked about it in a little bit in my exposing companies video but sometimes when you review products there's like three different ways a company can send you a product to your doorstep they can send you the product to your doorstep and pay you or you can buy it on amazon and they'll pay you um and that would be a paid for like sponsor video but nine times out of ten what a company will do is have you buy it on amazon and then they'll refund you the money for your purchase and then you just proceed to do the review well too many companies nowadays are doing that and they will not repay you for your order even though you send them all the information and this company was like almost two weeks without sending me the money back and usually i get the money back within like one to three three business days is usually the quoted term and then usually like a day and a half at most is how long it takes me to get the money back and for whatever reason, I think this was maybe the CEO of the company or something like that, because they're the one that was handling the stuff and they were acting like it. And they're the ones that had their email on the actual website for contact. And this is a brand that's not like a small brand within like gaming or something like that. This is a brand that makes professional lighting, professional like field monitors and video switchers and all this stuff for like the directorial like stuff and documentaries and everything like with camera work, like professional setting um, and seeing a company that's like that and they are handling me possibly doing a review and I was supposed to do some Instagram work for them and it was just like a bad experience and then recently i've been working on a review for a, another company and usually when i send out emails to work with a company or a company emails me i have a stipulation guide that i've talked about multiple times on the channel and i tell them that you're not going to see the video before it goes live no matter what and this company wherever emailed me on the progress and it's like i already told you when the video was going to go live we had already talked about when the video was going to go live and planned it out and everything. So why do you need to know, you know what I'm saying? Like you already have that information. And I proceeded to let them know that the video was already rendered and I was working on the thumbnail and they told me that, will you let me see the, you know, the draft of the video? And I'm like, we already agreed on that you weren't going to see the video. And they were like, we just wanted to check it for, you know, specifications and all this stuff like i'll get into it in the actual video itself that's coming up but it's just like why do why do we need to constantly do this with companies and it's like every single company always agrees to not being able to see the video before it goes live and then right before the video goes out to wherever on the agreed upon date and everything they always try to see the video before it goes live and it's like if you wanted that you should have told me that when we were talking about the requirements that I set forth in order to work with a company because at that point it's like we won't do the review because I'm not moving on that because that ruins the authenticity on videos and that's what I'm saying like going forward I'm gonna have to have a actual legal binding contract to where if a company does that or pulls that BS in the future I would just be able to null and void the review and I just won't review the product and that's what i'm gonna have to set up in the contract and i'm already like working on a securing that contract or wherever to be able to move move forward with that um but that's going to put a lot more pressure on the companies and i imagine a lot more of them are not going to sign it or want to work with me because they're going to be scared of that um so in the future like i said i'm probably just gonna have to purchase products with my own money and i'm not sure how that's going to work out because like i said with companies not trying to pay companies trying to skirt around the rules that we've already established and, and agreed upon and all that stuff it just it triggers my ptsd and i'm not trying to deal with that i had it happen like two days ago and it ruined my whole streaming and stuff yesterday and my mood and everything throughout the day and it's like i shouldn't have to go through this you know you know what i'm saying like you're supposed to be professional companies you're supposed to be you know professional in the sense of you're working with a content creator or whatever regardless of size and stuff and it's like like nobody's safe regardless if it's a big brand or not you know what i'm saying and it's like why 
do companies keep doing this stuff and it's like i know if they're doing it to me they're doing it to other content creators but not not enough people are speaking out about this stuff you know what i'm saying there's not enough out there there are some content creators that would mention this stuff like the content creator that i'm gonna be getting the legal document stuff from they will mention this stuff but a lot of them are a little bit more successful so they can afford to purchase the products and they have a little bit more i would say uh presence on the platform so they the companies are willing to go through you know dealing with the content creator or wherever in hopes that they will just still review their product um even if they sign that legal document so it's like what do i do personally you know what i'm saying um being a smaller content creator so the only thing i think of like i said is that legal binding contract and there's been companies where i just haven't answered their emails because i already get that essence from them as well as the products just being i would say not even noteworthy so there's really no point to review the products and that leads me to my last thing i wanted to talk to you guys about and let me know your thoughts in the comments but um i want to cover more stuff away from streaming I'll, again i this whole purpose of this stuff is to cover products that allow you to do content creation at like it, it, just anything as far as like video goes and maybe some photography stuff but doing talking head videos like this one like you know what key light am i using as far as the cob light goes what's my rim light you know some uh practical lights and stuff like that like i want to get into that stuff and that's why i got the sony zv e10 mark ii to you know cover and everything like that so let me know what you guys think on that stuff i'm kind of tired of doing these budget um audio mixers and microphones and all that stuff and it's nothing against like fine fine or all these other brands who are making this stuff it's just at this point i think i've done enough of these types of videos to where anybody who goes through my channel they can get an informed decision on not only the gear that's being represented in the video, but what they should be looking for, you know what I'm saying? At whatever price point, as far as like being able to, I would say, accomplish whatever their goal is for content creation. But I don't think I've talked enough about like cob lights and stuff like that, especially the more professional ones, like my rim light one. And this one up here is like almost a $400 light. And um, I actually got it for free because of some issues and stuff with other lights and it's like that's the kind of stuff i want to start covering and i just don't know if people who are watching this channel because they might have subscribed for like a fine fine microphone or because more of the stuff i cover wherever it's more streamery kind of gamery thing and it's like i don't want to get trapped in that and all i've been seeing lately as far as on offer is stuff like these cheap microphones and everything and it's like there's nothing new they're all going to sound decent or something like that. i think we've gotten to that point where these budget items or wherever they do what they're supposed to do you know what i'm saying you can get by with them you know what i'm saying by using them wherever so it's like what's the point of me covering it unless it does sound terrible it's like what's the point of me covering it you know what i'm saying there's going to be a lot more people out there who are going to clickbait you into thinking like it's the budget sure from 7b or they're going to clickbait you into thinking like this is a really good budget microphone or wherever and if it works for you it works for you but in my opinion, it's like, what's the point of me covering this stuff when I've covered and I'm looking at like seven to eight different microphones, you know, from all from different companies and stuff like that. And ones that I purchased my own money. It's like, what's the point of doing any more, especially since I don't do them on a scientific educational level, like checking out like the frequency ranges and like the self noise and like all this other stuff or wherever and having instruments to you know fact check what the manufacturer is saying and all that stuff like i don't i just i plug it up to an xlr interface and i talk into it and then you make your own decision you know what i'm saying and like that's the way i approach doing product reviews and it's like i want to you know broaden the scope of what i cover here on the channel you know what i'm saying the whole point is kind of like being a jack of all trades master of none and it feels like i'm just being the scope is too small right now by reviewing the certain products I have been reviewing as at least as of late. And like I said, I want to get back on track. So let me know what your what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Like I said, do you would you guys be interested in learning about like soft boxes and stuff like that? I've tested the water sometimes and sometimes it does good. And I talked about like audio interfaces and stuff like that. And like I said, I want to get into reviewing, you know, this key light as well as this rim light and stuff, give my thoughts and opinions and covering other stuff that will help you accomplish your content creation outside of just sitting at a desk streaming. 
And like I said, I think I've covered too many of those types of things. And it's like, okay, what about the people that want to know about cameras, uh, LUTs, the settings for cameras, you know, what you should use for your top downs, your talking head videos, accessories for your, like your lenses and stuff. And like I said, your lighting and everything like that. Where are some budget friendly options out there? Maybe a budget friendly option that's, you know, kind of like overkill, the last light that you would need or whatever for, you know, just, you know, not these streaming panel lights or wherever, but like actual professional lighting, like this rim light back here and this light and everything like that's the kind of stuff I want to cover. So again, just let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you guys would be interested in. With that being said, this was supposed to be a quick video. I don't know how long it is, but it feels like it's super long. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I'm gonna hopefully hop on my live stream and, uh, you know, have a good time over there. But, and like I said, not sure how sparingly the videos are going to be going, going forward because these companies, man. And like I said, if I have to rely on my own income and we're having to actually potentially get a car, um, just because my old one has been failing me and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure, like I said, being able to acquisition the funds to acquire, you know, uh, products and stuff. I'm not sure how that's going to go, but like I said, at bare minimum, I'm going to have to have this legal binding contract because it's just not been a good experience so far nowadays. So yeah let me know um like i said those things down in the comments thank you again so much for using the affiliate links and all that stuff don't forget to use code squid on checkout for a glitch energy link in the description to save you 25 percent off check out some fine fine products um reviews at the end of the video and uh i'll catch you guys in the next one if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe like comment and i'll uh, see you guys later god bless you and yours deuces everybody much love